Hey, hey, my beautiful peoples out there. How are you? Mwah. Priestess Melissa here. Let's do a reading today on love, shall we? And see what's going on for us. How are you doing out there? I hope you're having a wonderful week. It is Friday Eve, so good to see you. Let's bring in great spirit today. Thank you so much for joining us here for this Love Thing Thursday. We appreciate you so much, great spirit. Thank you for bringing through the messages that are most needed today to help us to be the best, to be in the best relationships, to feel our best, to feel love at all moments. For the highest good of all, so it is, so it is, so it is. Okay, let's do it. You guys ready to get into the guardian angel love message cards? Excuse me, romance angels. This is the Doreen Virtue set, guys. And so we're going to be looking at what is going on for love today, at least what is coming through for me based on who is connecting with these readings. So some form of these messages should resonate with you in some way. And if they do, or you'd like, like the message in general, go ahead and like the video so that other people will see it share and comment as you feel inclined to as well always in positive ways it's always a good karma to give back right especially if you receive so keep it going guys and thank you for liking the video all right meditating on the cards for just a moment All right, let's get into it, shall we? What's going on out there? Is everybody working? <laughs> or are you watching the video? If you are, make sure and comment and talk to me so we can bring through your energy and so you can connect in the reading as well. Let's see what we got going on for you guys today. All right, Romance Angel, show us what we need to know around love. Ooh, engagement, mmm healing family issues all right so what i see with these two cards coming together is we're engaging in more of those healing aspects within our family unit right it could be with children it could be with our uh, our own inner child if you will all right so these healing these issues is going to allow us to engage in even deeper ways right because when we are not healed we tend to be more defensive and unwilling to engage in those ways that are more loving right because we feel like we're being attacked and that's not how we should ever feel in a relationship but sometimes we can just feel that way because of things that are you know going on within ourselves and we don't even realize that we're being more defensive than perhaps we need to be in a situation or you know being more concerned about things than we truly need to be right especially if we haven't necessarily been shown you know um, anything and it's more just we have to really always evaluate ourselves and where these emotions are coming from. Is it truly coming from someone else or is it just coming from within ourselves and some kind of fear that it would serve us well to go ahead and heal? You know what I mean? All right, so healing the family issues is the card I'm going to focus on today because I really feel like there's this energy coming through that wants to serve us and being able to get connect even deeper, right? Because engagement generally refers to right before we go and make that deep dive into a commitment, excuse me, with someone. And we really want to make sure that we're committed to ourselves, you know, and that love and all within ourselves and balanced because when we are balanced within ourselves, we're able to offer ourselves in the way that we feel good about. Whenever we're, you know, um, feeling defensive, it's hard for us to, it's like we, you know, have these moments and then we feel bad about it. We're like, why do I act that way? You know, this person may not even be giving me, like I said before, a reason to feel the way that I'm feeling and I'm just constantly being defensive. It may be a need to 
go within yourself and see what kind of things that may have uh, come from you know your own upbringing and the dynamics that you saw as far as the example of relationship you know what I mean and you could be falling into some of those patterns that you don't mean to all right this could also help you to heal your own family all right so the answers to your prayers about your love life are based in your feelings about your mother and father the romance angels see that you would benefit from releasing old anger towards one or both of them that is because your feelings about your parents influence the choice of romantic partner and the way in which you deal with relationships you can ask the angels to help you put forgiveness into action to forgive someone doesn't mean that you are endorsing his or her behavior the angels will tell you rather that doing so is a form of deep emotional detoxification it means i am no longer willing to carry toxic energy within my mind and body when you find inner peace with your parents you will no longer need to attract unhealthy relationship patterns or partners as a way of healing family emotional wounds all of your relationships especially the ones you have with yourself will benefit hi rosemary beautiful to see you today thank you so much for joining so this is what i'm getting through in the message my love is for us to be able to engage in even deeper ways in our own relationships perhaps with our children but just in any relationship in life having that healing aspect within ourselves of perhaps how we have seen our own mother and father in the way that they handled relationships or you know they loved us or maybe the anger towards them for not you know teaching us the right way to be able to you know um, be within relationships and that's simply because they didn't know right so we have an ability to step up though where maybe they didn't if they did have that opportunity to if they were aware right and we can be that healing modality and agent within our own lineage right to heal those seven generations before for and to empower the seven generations going ahead right so if we choose to do that and heal these family issues I really feel it's going to go a long way in allowing us to engage with ourselves as well as all others in more healthy ways right so that is a beautiful message I feel let's get our crystal visions cards because we are reading love today and it's cool, I love it, because this is, um, you know, approaching every aspect of relationship engagement. You know, it's not just on that romantic level, and these romance cards are really cool in that way that they do um, approach from different aspects, whether you're single, whether you're dealing with children. All of our relationships relate, you know what I mean, with the relationship that we have with ourselves. So we definitely want to be looking at how we're measuring up with our own relationship with ourselves and how easy are we being on ourselves. And then at the same time, how much are we pushing ourselves and, you know, helping ourselves to be a good person, you know what I mean, and honorable and all of those things. Um, and then that way we'll be able to see that more in other people and be able to encourage that as well, right? And they'll be inspired by us too, you know, doing our own thing and becoming better people as well. We do become that example, you know, just like our parents were meant to be the example for us in teaching us how to love. And unfortunately, sometimes that doesn't happen, you know? And we have to learn to do it for ourselves when we're adults if we haven't learned it so that we don't continue to go through that suffering like they did, perhaps. Standing your ground is so important right now, and that's what the overall energy is with this Seven of Wands card. You're resolute, and hopefully so, about knowing that it does need to, you do need to have this healing um, aspect or approach to dealing with yourself and all others. And when you heal within yourself, your relationships all around you will begin to change. You'll see that for sure. All right, we're done with deceptive energy, whether that be within ourselves or with other people. That's what the Seven of Swords indicates here. Lying, cheating, stealing, abandoning ourselves, you know, not following through, being flighty with ourselves, just as well as allowing those flighty energies or people who really aren't committed into our um, dynamic, who aren't really engaging in that way, 
right? No more of that within these relationships. Two of Cups came out here. You are looking for that balance, which is really good. That Two of Cups in the upright with that Seven of Swords in reverse is saying that you're not willing to accept any deceptive energy anymore from yourself or from other people. You're willing to do that healing work is what it sounds like, and it's really good to see. The Page of Pentacles in reverse could again indicate that you're not willing to put work or energy or effort, you know, that kind of thing. You, you know that there's no st stability in engaging with people and this could be surrounding around a, you know, um, someone who was more domineering. It doesn't have to necessarily be a masculine or feminine energy because they say there's no gender in tarot, but you know, there is those, there are those dynamics that we resonate more with. Some of us are more feminine in nature and some of us are more masculine in nature. But in any case, this energy is indicating someone who really was trying to kind of maybe perhaps have control and have their thumb on you is the uh, kind of the, the message that I got there just now. And you don't feel like being oppressed anymore, either by yourself, you know, and these constant barraging, you know, from either other people or it within your own mind, you know, and feeling out of sorts any longer. Yeah, so this energy of, you know, people who make you feel, once again, like you are uh, not able to feel fulfilled within yourself. You know what I mean? That's the reason for this whole reading is how can we put a, you know, stop to this and stop going around in these cycles, if you will, and really learn to, again, connect and engage in the right ways with people. Knight of Swords, wow. Someone may be coming in to try to talk to you. Be aware of this energy that may be coming in and definitely, you know, um, Swords is more like mental energy. So, you know, don't just go by what someone may be saying to you. Knights are also, you know, they're they're on the higher end of things as far as the energy scale, but they still can be, especially this could be fast communication coming in, just saying like someone maybe trying to give you a message or something of that nature. Um, but you definitely want to be aware of if they're what they're saying to you is truthful and, and even if you want to engage in it or try to figure that out kind of thing yeah magician energy so you want to be sure that you're being able to um really start to build your life the way that you see it and not be manipulated by other people knowing that you have the ability to have that balance within yourself right i think that you really do know that you have that ability but it's like we have there's a lot that goes through that transformation and that death process and this is how we see the outside energy is people um, around us and things of that nature there could be a lot that we're transforming or working through within ourselves that is uh, making the relationships between other people and us right now a little bit different it may feel a little off kilter to us because maybe we never really saw the relationships for what they really were and when we start acting from our true nature and we do this healing work right then we kind of see what we've been dealing with more so once we are coming from a different perspective of seeing things if that makes sense Six of Swords for the hopes, wishes, and fears. Moving towards calmer waters, definitely putting that X behind you here. Crossroads, crossing, it's kind of like that uh, Rubicon, if they, as they say, crossing that point of no return. You know, be resolute about where you're going because you definitely don't want to end up in any more of that energy that makes you feel like you're not balanced, that you're not stable, right? Stand your ground against any kind of energy that would try to come in and be deceptive to you at this time. I'm gonna clarify these cards just to get a, bit, a little bit of a deeper meaning behind them for us today. So what is the Seven of Swords energy, please, in reverse? Seven of Swords energy. Ooh. So we got strength. Yep. Strength against anybody, you know, this energy that really is debilitating, you know what I mean? Brings you down. That deceptive energy, that is all it does, is it puts you in a situation where you feel, you know what I mean? That you are defeated, that you are ostracized, that you are not accepted. You're done dealing with that kind of energy is how I feel. Uh, 
on the bottom of the yeah because it does nothing but drain your energy you know what i mean so i really feel like we want to move past this energy of connection with people again engaging in those ways in that healing aspect yeah definitely so with that two of cups we've got the soulmate energy or this could also be healing our inner child type of energy so with the two of cups that can also indicate that balance that we are gaining within ourselves by denying these types of connections that yes maybe they're strong but maybe not the best for us you know what i mean because we don't want to continue to be in this energy of crying over spilled milk. With this in reverse, this really does indicate that you are taking those two cups, right? And you're filling your own cups. You're understanding what love really means at this time. And I really like that. So Page of Pentacles in reverse for the energy of the mind. Yeah. Forget all of that small stuff. You're ready to go for this big stuff. What can you really manifest with this magician energy and this nine of cups? Because that's really what's going to bring you all the happiness you're looking for. So it's be careful what you wish for too, right? Before in the past, maybe with this emperor in reverse energy, yeah, we thought we were getting an emperor, right? But that's not what we got. We got the knight. And the knight, especially of cups, can, and knights are, you know, they're fast moving generally, except for the knight of pentacles. He's more of a planner. But at the same time, you know, you have to be careful of that energy. It seems very, you know, um, engaging. Oh, yeah. It seems very engaging initially. Hard and fast, though, instead of slow and steady. And that's what you want to be aware of is people that are coming at you hard and fast. What's this emperor in reverse in the past energy? What is this emperor? Ooh, too many. Let's do that again. Emperor in reverse. Yep, look what he brought us. A lot of energy for us to be aware of, a lot of lessons. You can take those swords and use them as lessons moving forward, not to ever engage in this kind of energy again, right? Someone who was pretending to be the emperor, but really wasn't. <clears throat> That's what I really feel in this situation. I'm very interested to see what comes out as we move forward, especially with that Knight of Swords there. King of Swords in reverse, please. Show me the reason for the reading. King of Swords in reverse. And this is what's in our, you know, um, our space like below, like here, what's happening right now with this energy. Sorry that wasn't meant to come out. King of Swords in reverse. So it's like, what's going on right now? Like, what do we need to focus on in regards to the reading? So this could be that, yeah, absolutely. I was gonna say that there was a lot of hurt that happened as a result. Somebody made, even that you should feel like the king, you know, of your heart. You should know that you contain all the love that is needed with, with or without anyone. And that wasn't the case. Somebody really brought you down and now there's a lot of healing that needs to take place. Maybe not as much as in the past because, you know, maybe you've gotten to a different point in your life, but there is still some healing aspect that you may not realize that, you know, connects when you try to connect with other people and that kind of thing, then it basically... Um, it doesn't allow you to connect in the deeper ways because you're still, you have that tinge of that energy, that taint, if you will. So it really is important to heal that aspect, all right? So Knight of Swords, Knight of Swords for this future energy based on how things are going right now. Justice, yeah, there's justice coming to the situation and healing balance, look at that. That's what the Knight of Swords, this information, uh, whatever is either coming through or that you have received, even if it's hurtful, you know, even if it's a lot for you to deal with, just know that it is going to help you to be able to move forward from this situation in the most healed way. If you use those swords, meaning the truth that you learned about the situation, all right, and allow it to help you to heal, to move forward, because you are just as important or powerful and everything else as anyone else, all right? They did not de determine your value, I guess is what I mean to say. So never allow anyone to do that, all right? Get that healing and that balance in place today. What is this magician energy for how we see the situation? Yeah, I like that. 
ready to set off on a new journey, ready to take our tools with us though, right? We're not just setting off as the fool with no kind of understanding. We do know we have been th through those circumstances and those scenarios, and we do know better how to navigate this experience definitely to walk away from anything that doesn't serve us, right? Because as we get closer to that wish fulfillment, if we have those people around us who are deceptive, they're gonna do nothing but ruin everything, you know what I mean? So the death card for the outside energy, how do we see this? Ooh, magician, what? Putting an end to these outside situations that bring you nothing but death, meaning that they don't, you know, produce anything healing. They don't um, increase your energy or help you to feel like you have the ability to be that magician and to create in your life. Those are the kind of people that we don't want around us because they definitely, you know, uh, don't facilitate or promote any goodness in our lives. We want to celebrate, right? Those are the kind of people that we want to connect with, but not those people that are doing so in deceptive ways. You know, we're ready to really be happy in our lives. So Six of Swords for the hopes, wishes, and fears. Ooh, we got two cards out for that one. Page of Cups and Page of Wands, yeah. That is definitely what we're moving to calmer waters from. Anybody who wants to come with us with these small offers, with these little cups of love, with this little bit of energy here and there that, you know, just wants to come in when they want to come in and that kind of thing. Yeah. Over it, you know, usually he's bored and discontent, but he's like, you know what? I've seen this before. Let's just move on. Not having it. So the Ten of Pentacles in reverse for the future energy. I'm curious what this has to say. And I think maybe what it's saying is that there isn't any kind of growth to be had here with the Seven of Wands engaging. Yeah, we really have to, uh, again, look where we're investing. You know what I mean? Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Yes. Yeah. Put it into yourself. Nine of Pentacles in the upright. That single energy, that you know, uh, energy of being single and just doing well in your life, that all comes by having that mentality that you don't need anybody else to bring wish fulfillment to you. You bring it to yourself. We all have that ability to bring it to ourselves when we choose to move to those calmer waters. Stand our ground, right? In knowing what we want. And don't back down, right? Turn your back and walk away from anything that isn't making you feel good within your relationships because you don't deserve to feel that way. You don't deserve to deal with that, especially if you're giving of yourself and you're being a good person and things of that nature. Expression says, express how you feel clearly, lovingly, and honestly without fear or judgment. You should never have to be afraid, like I said, to speak how you feel, but you should not have to be defensive either, right? So there could be, again, that healing aspect that we need around our mother, father, how they showed us relationship, and how we are dealing with relationship and engaging with people as a result, right? So this is healing that aspect of our connections in love today on every level with ourselves and with anyone else, right? Because when we know how to love ourselves and when we know what kind of qualities to look for, we'll be able to see those in other people and we can just keep on walking and not get caught up, right? That saves us a lot of time, trust me. <laughs> Say it exactly like it is. All will be resolved when you express to others how you truly feel, trust in the power that of life to guide you and heal all concerned. Self-expression is liberating and healing. And when you get those people out of your life that really don't need to be there anyway and don't really care about you or else they would try to work with you and try to understand where you're coming from, it's best, you know what I mean? That way you can heal and you can really bring those people into your life, draw them in, the ones that are really going to support your life and be positive, you know what I mean? All right, so blessing says love, light, blessings. Through this card, you are being showered with angelic light. Accept the blessings about to come your way and know that you deserve to be and have all your heart desires. You are being lovingly guided along a golden path, a magical journey through which you shall discover your true essence. 
So these journeys, these difficulties have an opportunity for us to go to the end of the rainbow and collect our pot of gold, right? But we have to stay content and happy along the way and know who we are and know that no one else determines our value. You see what I'm saying? All right, it says, you shall discover your true essence, the infinite and eternal you. Congratulations. All right, guys, those are your messages for today. Your love messages. Learn to connect with each other in even deeper ways by healing. So however you need to do that, but be easy on yourself and try to be easy on others today. Blessings. I love you, and I'll see you again soon tomorrow for Faith Friday, as a matter of fact. Bye-bye.